to watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 annoyingly catchy songs. For this list, we'll be looking at songs with hooks and choruses that you just can't seem to get enough of. Which of these is stuck in your head now? Sing us a line or two in the comments. Number 20. Party in the USA – Miley Cyrus Hopped up the plane at LAX with a dream my cardigan Welcome to the land of fame XX. Originally written for English singer Jessie J, this pop rock song about being an out-of-place newbie in Hollywood was an instant hit for the then teen idol. Detailing Cyrus's move from Nashville, Tennessee to the land of fame excess, this song's lyrics have just the right combination of relatability, repetition, and good old nostalgia to keep it on a constant loop in your head. It peaked at number two and three in the US and Canada respectively, became diamond certified, and also saw a resurgence in the US after the demise of Osama bin Laden and the 2020 presidential election. If there's ever a reason to celebrate, there's no question what jam we'll be nodding our heads and moving our hips to. Number 19. Let It Go – Adina Menzel If you had little kids around when this song was released, it's understandable if you now have very mixed feelings. The wind is howling like this swirling storm inside. This show tune track from the 2013 Disney animated film Frozen became a worldwide sensation, peaking in the top 20 of several countries. Let it go. With uplifting lyrics about liberation and accepting oneself, it had kids around the world, and adults alike, shooting imaginary ice crystals from the tip of their hands and trying, but often failing, to hit the sky-high notes. This track perfectly blended pop and musical theater, eventually going on to win a Grammy and an Academy Award. When you got hit by the cold magic of this song, it was pretty hard to let it go. The cold never bothered me anyway. Number 18. Nookie – Limp Bizkit This hardcore rap rock song was released as the lead single from the band's second album, becoming their first song to ever chart on the Billboard Hot 100. Came into this world as a reject, look into these eyes. Complete with thrashing guitars, hard-hitting drums, and fourth-grade level rhyming lyrics that roll off the tongue, this one will get you yelling responses from the top of your lungs before you even know it. Although it still receives a bad rep to this day for the chaos that ensued at the 1999 Woodstock Festival, the track marked a turning point for the band, bringing them to the forefront of the rock scene. If you ever find out where we can stick that cookie, let us know. Number 17. Holla Back Girl – Gwen Stefani Gwen Stefani described her debut solo album Love Angel Music Baby as a, quote, silly dance record. It was certainly very different from the music she made with Rock Band, no doubt. But it became iconic even so. The third single from the album, Holla Back Girl, is a callback to 1980s hip-hop and dance music, written with Pharrell Williams and Chad Hugo. <laughs> Fans were more enthusiastic than critics, who panned it despite it becoming the first digital download to sell one million copies. Joke, so no 
We can't help but love it. But if someone could let us know what a hollaback girl is, that would be great. Bananas, B -A -N -A -N -A -N -A -N bananas, Number 16, Never Gonna Give You Up, Rick Astley. We're no strangers to love. No, don't worry, you aren't being Rick Rolled. The debut single from British singer Rick Astley, Never Gonna Give You Up, quickly became a worldwide number one hit as well as becoming Astley's signature track. And if you ask me how I'm feeling, don't tell me you're too bad to see. While the song was popular on initial release, it also saw a resurgence of popularity via the Rick Roll meme and spread across the internet like wildfire. Never Gonna Give You Up Rick rolled its way into our hearts and is not leaving anytime soon. Number 15, What Is Love, Hadaway. What is love? Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Trinidadian German singer Hadaway released this slick Euro dance song as the debut single from his very meta album, The Album. The soulful lead vocals, a groovy synth line, and the classic ns, ns beats came together perfectly to elevate this track above the dance singles of its time and keep us coming back years later. What is love? initially gained massive airplay worldwide, hitting number one in 13 countries, and the top 20 in several others. Then got a resurgence after being used in the popular SNL Roxbury Guys sketches a few years later. If there's anything hurting as a result of this song, it's our legs from too much dancing. <laughs> number 14, The Ketchup Song, Aceda Hey, Last Ketchup. You can't talk about worldwide phenomena without mentioning this one. Before the craze of the Harlem Shake and TikTok dance challenges, there was Acera Hey. The debut single by the Spanish pop group, this flamenco song had all the makings of an annoying earworm. A repetitive nonsense chorus? Check. A signature dance routine? Check. A music video with three beautiful women dancing on the beach? Check, check, check. It was the Macarena of the early 2000s, reaching number one in more than 20 countries and selling over 7 million copies worldwide. There wasn't a school party around the world that didn't have this song blasting through the speakers. Number 13, Surf and Bird, The Trash Men. The bird is most certainly the word. This song was originally released in 1963 by American surf rock group The Trash Men and peaked at number four on the Billboard Hot 100. Fun fact, Bird of the Word is actually a mashup of two songs by the Rivingtons, Bird is the Word and Papa Um Mau Mau. Nonetheless, we can't help but just keep singing. Whether it's Peter Griffin's rendition of the song or the Ramones cover, there's no way you won't have this song stuck in your head after just one listen. Number 12, Mbop, Hansen. Admit it, you're already bobbing your head to this song. Inspired by the popular doo-wop, R&B harmonies of the 50s and early 60s, this bright-eyed and long-haired band of three teenage brothers put out this track as the lead single from their debut studio album. Its easily chantable lyrics and infectious, candy-coated instrumentation keep it lingering in the back of your head hours after you've heard it. Topping the charts in at least 12 countries and being nominated for two Grammys, it remains Hanson's most successful song to date. Number 13, 
Number 11, Sorry for Party Rocking, LMFAO. Damn it, they're at it again right now. That's why the bed's rocking. God damn. Oh, man. At least somebody's making the bed rock. Time for a little bit of party rock. The fourth single off of LMFAO's second album, the track Sorry for Party Rocking is non-stop electronic and dance pop anarchy. Got a drink in my hand and they just call Buffalo. Red Foo, Sky Blue, Dancing Zebras, YouTubers Rhett and Link, and David Hasselhoff, pure chaos. Sorry for Party Rocking is the perfect excuse for all millennials when someone asks them to turn the music down. Sorry for party rocking. Neighbors complain, say turn it down. Of course, it wasn't the album's only earworm, as singles also included Party Rock Anthem and Sexy and I Know It. Unfortunately, LMFAO went on hiatus shortly afterwards, so they may have rocked the party a little too hard. Sorry for party rocking. Number 10, All About That Bass, Megan Trainer. You don't get to displace Taylor Swift, the queen of heartbreak from the number one spot without making an impression. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, 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 bass. After years working as an independent artist and songwriter, Trainer shot into the limelight with this bubblegum pop track about body positivity and self acceptance. If you got beauty, beauty, just raise them up, cause every inch of you is perfect from the bottom to the top. Expertly fusing retro duo influences with modern hip-hop sounds, this song spread far and wide, connecting with a wide array of audiences and holding their ears hostage. It however received mixed reviews from critics, with some praising its message and others criticizing it for shaming thin women. You know I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. I'm all about that bass, about that bass, no trouble. Regardless of critical reviews, it dominated the charts worldwide, reaching number one in more than 50 countries and getting a diamond certification in the US and two Grammy nominations. No, I won't be no stick Who Let the Dogs Out, Baja Men. Who, who let the dogs out? Who let the dogs out? Face it, if you were growing up in the 2000s, you've heard of this cover song by the Baja Men. Who Let the Dogs Out is a bouncy pop track that's synonymous with the warm weather and fun vibes of summer. The party was nice, the party was bumping. Hey, yeah. And everybody having a ball. The sunshine, the catchy beat, and plenty of dogs, it's all there. The song was one of the best-selling singles of the 2000s, although it never reached number one. It's also considered by many publications to be one of the most annoying songs of all time, and we would agree, although we would be lying if we said it wasn't catchy as hell. Number 8. Call Me Maybe, Carly Rae Jepsen we may have just met her at the time, but my god, did we all go crazy for this. You took your time with the call, I took no time with the fall, you gave me nothing at all, but still you're in my way. Released in the summer of 2011, this upbeat teen pop track initially achieved moderate success in Canada, Jepsen's home country, but received worldwide attention after Justin Bieber tweeted that it was possibly the catchiest song he'd ever heard. And he was right. Hey, I just met you. The song is structured to get you hitting the repeat button. With its simplistic rhyming lyrics and an endless layer of musical hooks, you're bound to find yourself humming to it no matter how hard you try not to. Bieber's tweet may have brought attention to it, but it was the ridiculously infectious nature of this tune that made it stick with us. It's hard to look right at your baby, but here's my number. Number 7, Caramel Dancing, Caramel. This was the internet meme way before internet memes became a thing. Originally released in 2001, this song didn't gain international recognition until five years later, when a 4chan user made flash loops featuring animated characters from a Japanese visual novel dancing to a sped up version. <laughs> Like
Like every other thing we've come to know as an internet craze, this flash loop spread like wildfire, as many people created their own versions of it, eventually reaching YouTube and becoming a worldwide phenomenon. <laughs> insanely upbeat hook and bubblegum dance production left people doing the caramel dancing long after the song was over. <laughs> Number 6. Sandstorm, Darude <laughs> Another song that became repopularized by the internet, Sandstorm showcases some of the best that late 1990s electronic music has to offer. Produced by Finnish DJ Darude, this trance track was a global hit after its release just before the new millennium. <laughs> classic high-speed music video and a beat that will have you raving, what Sandstorm lacks in lyrics, it makes up for in pure nostalgia. Just remember, if you don't know the name of a song, it's probably Darude's Sandstorm. Number 5. Axel F. Crazy Frog If this wasn't your ringtone at some point, then you were clearly doing something wrong. As a remix of the synthesizer theme music from 1984's Beverly Hills Cop, this novelty song became an instant summer hit across Europe. <laughs> Featuring distorted, nonsensical ramblings of the Crazy Frog character interspersed with the synth-heavy production, this tune crept up the charts, reaching number one in more than 10 countries. Not bad for a ringtone, huh? <laughs> It turns out that to make an annoying earworm, all you need is an animated frog, an imitation of engine sounds, the words ring ding, and you're good to go. Number 4. Gangnam Style Psy The world couldn't get enough of this catchy K-pop tune back when it was released in summer of 2012. Psy's 18th single, this song features an infectious beat, hilarious dance moves, and some playful vocals from the Korean superstar himself. We may hate getting this track stuck in our head with a fiery passion, but we still will sing and dance along. Inspiring flash mobs and dancers around the world, Gangnam Style is a defining song of the 2010s, all thanks to the power of the internet. Hey, Number 3. Barbie Girl, Aqua. Love it or hate it, you can't deny this song is 100% pure fun. Hiya, Bobby. Hi, Ken. You wanna go for a ride? Sure, Ken. Jump in. Unlike most of the other novelty songs on this list, this Euro dance track by the Danish Norwegian group received critical acclaim when it was released. I'm a Barbie girl in the Barbie The song went on to take the world by storm, topping the charts in several countries. Sadly, it also attracted copyright infringement claims by Mattel, resulting in a controversial lawsuit between Aqua's record label and the Barbie doll makers. Legal troubles be damned, this track's cartoonishly high pitched vocals and bouncy dance beat made it an instant earworm. Come on, Barbie, let's go party. <laughs> Life in plastic may not always be fantastic in these eco-friendly times, but for this song, we would not have it any other way. Number 2. Blue Dabba D. Eiffel 65 Yo, listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world. We sincerely apologize for reminding you of this one. 
The Mona Lisa of annoying earworms, this song was released as the debut single from the Italian electronic group Eiffel 65. Widely noted for its heavily auto-tuned vocals layered over pulsating techno beats that are sure to get you tapping your feet, it remains the group's most popular single to date. Topped the charts in several countries across Europe, peaked at number six in the US, and received a Grammy nomination for Best Dance Recording. You may have been singing the wrong lyrics all this while, but who cares? You're blue, I'm blue, we're all blue. Dabba dee, dabba die. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Baby Shark – Pink Fong You'll need a restraining order against your kids and brain surgery to get this one out of your head. This song originated as a campfire chant in the 20th century, but only saw worldwide popularity after it was uploaded to YouTube by a South Korean entertainment company. Because it's a children's song, it possesses repetitive, easy to remember lyrics, and familial characters that allow them to easily connect with the music. It's these features that have helped this tune burrow its way into the heads of kids and adults around the world, cracking the top 40 in the US and becoming the most viewed YouTube video of all time. We'd like to have a stern word or two with whomever is responsible for this song. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.